Now let's take a look at subject. The subject tells who or what the sentence is about. Sometimes the subject is singular and sometimes it is plural. For example, Fatima smiled. This is a singular subject. Only Fatima. One. Siblings fight. This is a plural subject. Siblings has an S. Subjects can be more than one word. Lois and Peter have eight children. The hungry kittens ran to their mother. In both of these examples, Lois and Peter are the subject. The hungry kittens are the subject. However, it is more than one word. Verb. The verb refers to an action or a state. It indicates tense or time. Two common tenses are present and past. Jared sings. This is the present tense. Currently, Jared sings. Ducks walked across the street. This is the past tense. This refers that something that happened in the past, not in the present. A sentence can have more than one verb. Let's take a look. My brother studied hard and earned a degree in economics. In this sentence, there is two verbs. Punctuation and capitalization. A complete sentence can end in a period. A question ends with a question mark. And occasionally, writers use an exclamation mark to give emphasis to a sentence. An example of number one. A good speech begins with a joke. This is the period. An example of the question mark. Do you enjoy learning about the world? And an example of an exclamation mark. I look down and sliding across my bare foot was a giant green mamba.